Hey guys, I'm Chris Buck and a very warm welcome to Friday Fretworks and this week I'm going to be breaking down my guitar solo from Tell Me How It Feels, the first single by my new band Cardinal Black, but I will also be throwing down the gauntlet for the Cardinal Black solo challenge, but in case you haven't got any idea what I'm talking about, sounds a little bit like this. <laughs> In case you missed it, last Friday saw the release of Tell Me How It Feels, the first single by my new band, Cardinal Black. And honestly, we've been absolutely blown away by the response. So to be entirely truthful, I shot this video yesterday on the morning of Saturday the 8th of May, just after Tell Me How It Feels it debuted on the iTunes Rock Chart at number 87. It was last Sunday evening, down in slightly rainy so Tembi, and we just pipped Noel Gallagher to the number one spot on the Rock Charts, and we're at about number 27, I think, on the main chart, sandwiched in between Billie Eilish and Rag and Bowman. So if this video doesn't quite convey my excitement of that fact, that would be why it's slightly delayed. But honestly, thank you so, so much for the response. Really is utterly mind blowing. Cheers. So thank you so much to everyone who's either watched, listened, streamed, downloaded, bought, downloaded illegally, whatever. Thank you so much. It's been absolutely incredible. And to celebrate this, I wanted to do something a little bit different on this week's episode of Friday Fretworks. So aside from breaking down that solo in today's video, I've also made the backing track for the solo available to download freely in the description box below. The idea being that if you feel so inspired, you can record your own version and submit it using the hashtag Cardinal Black Solo challenge either here on YouTube or on Instagram. Now as a little incentive to the best submission I will be giving away two of my personal pedals that I actually use to record the solo on this track, the Mythos Golden Fleece and the Thorpey Effects Gunshot. Now the tab is also freely available in the description box below but to be honest it would be great to see some new ideas whether that's an entirely improvised solo or just an interpretation of my own but to be honest all submissions are very much welcome all the details for the competition are listed in the description box below and honestly i can't wait to see what you guys come up with Speaking of pedals, to preempt some inevitable questions in regard to what gear I used on this track, first and foremost, as you can see in the official video for the song, I was using my Yamaha Gold Top 502 Custom, running directly into the Mythos Golden Fleece. Now, this is a single knob, fairly aggressive, gritty fuzz pedal that, aside from cleaning up beautifully, kind of toes the line between overdrive and fuzz. It's a fantastic sounding pedal that I guess I've had for the better part of a year and a half now, but in the last six months or so especially, has really become a staple on my board. Absolutely love it. Now for the solo tone, this was stacked together with arguably one of my favourite overdrive pedals of all time, the Thorpey FX Gunshot. It's an incredibly versatile pedal, but honestly, just sounds incredible in whatever setting you so choose to use it in. And stacked with a golden fleece, really helped fatten out that mid-range and just give a kind of saturated, creamy fuzz tone, but with still all that biting top end, it really helps you sit in a mix and you can hear it in the track. Last but not least, I was running into the Victory V140, running directly into the Universal Audio Oxbox. Now, in regard to the Cardinal Black Solo Challenge competition, all of the details are listed in the description box of this video, as well as on my Instagram page. And the competition will run from, as of now, to midnight UK time on Friday, May 28th. Really excited to see what you guys come up with. But without further ado, let's delve into the solo on this track and break it down. So the first thing worth mentioning about this guitar solo is that the entirety of it revolves around two chords. Those two chords, of course, are going to be a C-sharp minor and an F-sharp major. 
And I mention this because if you're not necessarily comfortable with or familiar soloing over just two chords, it can be a little bit confusing in the sense that it very much leaves you trying to find home or trying to find where you want to naturally resolve to. Every time you try to resolve to a particular note, odds on the chords have changed underneath and it leaves you feeling a little bit out of shape. And in that respect, the way in which I approach this solo is very much kind of from a chord tone perspective or a harmony perspective or really from a case of target notes highlighting certain notes which obviously work well in regard to the context which is happening in the chords underneath now i can appreciate that maybe a little bit of a stretch for some of you depending on where you are in your kind of arc of your progress i guess so it's worth mentioning that you can to a certain extent just get away with soloing in the key of c sharp minor but as you'll discover as you go along, it's not necessarily a case that certain notes don't work so much as certain notes don't work as well as other notes. So in that sense, I guess it could be seen as a, a kind of good introduction into target notes or targeting relative harmonies. Now, all that waffle out of the way. And surprisingly, the first note of the solo is a big old root note. <laughs> Now, in regards to the notes of this solo, obviously I'm going to make the tab available for free down in the description box if you do want to learn it for note for note. As usual, though, this video is going to be more breakdown of the rationale or some of the thought process behind those notes. So I'm going to move through it relatively quickly. But it's worth mentioning that the first section of the solo, which I guess is typified by the fact that I'm not actually on camera all that much in it for the music video, is not necessarily something I think about as a guitar solo, I guess, per se. It's more a musical interlude, more a kind of pre-section to the main part of the solo, which starts when I move up the register later on. But to continue with that first part, obviously we've got those two root notes. <laughs> Moving into a kind of low inversion of a C sharp minor chord. Basically, the way of thinking about that is to put in the fifth, which you would normally put there, in the bass. Again, resolving to a chord, which then resolves very nicely to the chord tone, which is obviously going to be an F sharp major. So we've got a very brief uh, hammer on going up half a step on your fourth fret on your G string, resolving to. back to that F sharp major. Now the first real section of note in the solo is going to be this run. Which in a way I guess echoes parts of the vocal melody, so something I really wanted to pick up on. But the, the thing worth really mentioning there is going to be this note. Which in case you had not got it already, is the minor third, minor harmony of the chord happening underneath. And that little bit to resolve at the end then, again, needless to say, resolving down to a B flat, which in this case, is gonna be the major third of the F sharp major happening underneath. So to slow that down, Now the interesting thing about that last bent note there is that you really have to take your time with it. If you just rush up to pitch, it doesn't necessarily add to the tension of what I was trying to say with that bit. It's worth mentioning as well that initially I did toy with the idea of resolving to the, the root notes, obviously a C sharp. But I thought there was a particularly nice tension and sense of building or foreboding almost, I guess, in that note there. In that G sharp, which leads you into, as I said, the first kind of real kind of major part of the solo. Again, we're going to be starting on a root note, so we're sliding up from your 12th fret, a B note on your B string, up to the C sharp, the root note up on your 14th fret. 
And again, that little kind of vocal slides off the note then, I guess, something I use a lot. Again, that little vocal kind of bend, whatever you want to call it then. Up to your 17th fret on your B string for this bend, a full tone bend. So that break then, if you didn't catch it, it's happening with my second finger. And then we're moving that harmony around underneath it. Then heading into what I guess is really the climax of the solo. Now for anyone who's watched a solo uh, breakdown I did just before Christmas actually, or might have even been on Christmas Day, part of something I talked about in that video was the, the importance of repetition within solos. And this is a real kind of important part of the solo in terms of building tension and aiming for a sense of release when you finally do get to the bit you've been building to. So in that sense, we have this kind of obvious repeated part. with the only difference being that first note obviously being a tone higher. So, working into the very last notes of the solo now. Again, that sense of repetition, it's almost verbatim to what's just come before it, leading into the last few notes, which are undoubtedly the trickiest part of the solo, especially if you haven't got a 22nd fret, as I have here, for reasons which you'll soon discover. So we've got that full tone bend, followed by another half step bend. On your 21st fret, then followed by a shift up to your 22nd fret, but you actually bend before you get to your 27th, uh, 27th, it's optimistic, 22nd fret. So it sounds like this. So the note you're actually aiming for if you try and find it separately is a fair old distance up. I'm using 11s here, so it's a fairly sizable old bend, but you can get there, especially if you've got a 22nd fret. And then those final notes. All of which together sounds a bit like this. there you have it. Thank you very much for watching and, as I said, for the response to Tell Me How It Feels and Cardinal Black in general, which has been truly incredible. We've been absolutely blown away by it, so thank you very, very much. If you haven't seen the track already, go check it out. It's linked above. And honestly, I can't wait to see your entries for the Cardinal Black Solo Challenge. Really excited to see what you guys can come up with. As ever, I'm Chris Buck. Thank you very much for watching Friday Fretworks. Stick around for another episode of Friday Fretworks next week and more Cardinal Black music coming very, very soon. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon.